This is a hypermature Morgagnan cataract with very hard nucleus. Let us see how I managed this case. After making the incisions and straining the capsule with tripan blue dye, as soon as the anterior capsule was punctured, for excess milky fluid came out. The milky fluid is aspirated with a 23 cause Simco cannula and the positive pressure in the intra lenticular space is decreased. Now this is a nice tag. Visco is used to fill off the anterior chamber. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I use a uh, utrita forceps to do a uh, rexus. I had no idea about how hard the nucleus is, and the size of this nuclear uh, rexus has been this about uh, 4.75 millimeter on the smaller side. And I was not sure whether I'll be able to manage this nucleus with this size of the rexus. However, I started this is Faro's from Oatley made a tunnel and I find that it is very hard see make the bevel up go through this tunnel go through the substance of the nucleus and try my technique submarine job and it is a very hard leathery nucleus and I found that it is very difficult to manage this nucleus with this size of the rexus. So I decide to enlarge the rexus. Now the rim, rexus rim is thicker from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So I make a cut at around 130 o'clock and go clockwise. I should have made it a little larger but hope this size of the rexis will help manage this case. Go again with the FECO needle submarine job again and this time I could get a nice crack very leathery fibers and the pieces are not getting separated just some crack so I've decided to make as many cracks as possible and then manage this nucleus somehow all the pieces are getting joined to each other centrally to a leathery posterior plate. Yes, I'm 
got two pieces inject visco and ask for two hooks and I try to separate the pieces and find it very difficult Inject visco again. And now, with the help of these two hooks. I could make this two pieces almost free but still not completely free now I go again and my plan is to separate the pieces applying ultrasonic energy here at this point and it could it could separate the pieces see how leathery it is is the other hemineucleus. My plan is to lift the inner edge of this hemineucleus and apply ultrasonic energy so that these the this pieces get separated. So go in behind, try to separate the pieces, still not separate. So I thought easier is I apply ultrasonic energy at the junctions. I have lifted off the inner edge and it's looking like a tent now. Here I go. Apply ultrasonic energy and the pieces get free. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 85 percent flow rate is 40 ml per minute. Vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. This is the last nuclear piece. At this time, I usually use FICO 3 mode. Where the vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25 ml per minute. The nucleus is managed, there is hardly any cortex. Antichamber is filled up with visco and a monofocal single piece intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag and then the visco is nicely cleaned. 
this is biminol irrigation aspiration irrigate behind the lens there should not be any visco trapped behind the lens in many instances the trapped visco behind the lens may cause raised intraocular pressure and it can cause steamy corneal edema and the patient may be very very uncomfortable so the retained visco should not be there all the visco should be removed This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect and great surgical competence.